Good morning, second grade. Today is lesson 47 for Saxon Phonics. We are going to start by doing some review words and spelling some sight words. So make sure that you have this page in front of you. We are going to start by practicing some words. On number one, spell the word food on the line. Food. Food is spelled F O O D. Number two, spell the word chill. Chill. Don't look at my shirt. <laughs> chill. Chill is spelled C H I L L. Chill. And number three, spell the word grape. Grape. Grape is spelled G-R-A-P-E. Grape. Now let's practice spelling some sight words. Number four, spell the word does. Does. Does is spelled D-O-E-S, does. Number five, spell the word full, full. F-U-L-L, -L, full. And the last sight word is push. Number six, push. Push is spelled P-U-S-H. All right, now find number seven on your paper. We are going to write this sentence on the line. The bird in the tree has a nest, said Cam. So this sentence has dialogue. Cam is the person talking. And what he said was, the bird in the tree has a nest. So we need to put quotation marks around what he said. So we're going to start with quotation marks. Capitalize the T in the. The red bird. In the tree. has a nest. And we will end that with a comma before our quotation marks. That is the end of what he said. So a comma and then quotation marks and then we'll write said Cam. Cam is a proper noun, it's his name, so it needs to be capitalized. And we'll end our full sentence with a period. So your sentence should look like mine. The red bird in the tree has a nest, said Cam. And you can set this worksheet aside. We will use it later in the lesson. Now I would like for you to echo these words and listen for the sound in the final position. Fly, try, shy. What sound do you hear in the final position of fly, try, and shy? I, right, look at these words on my board. What letter is making the I sound? and fly, try, and shy. The Y is making the I sound. Is I a consonant sound or a vowel sound? It is a vowel sound. How can you tell? Yeah, it's a vowel and it says its name, I. So sometimes the letter Y will act like a consonant, like it does in the word yarn. But other times it acts like a vowel, like it does in these three words. 
So usually it's best to think of the letter Y as a consonant. If it's in the initial position, if it's in the front, to think of it as a vowel if it is anywhere else in the word. So whenever you find the Y in the middle or the final position, put a dot over it because that shows that it's acting like a vowel. So I'm going to put a dot above the Y. Are these words accented? Yes, they are. How do you know that? All one syllable words are accented. Very good. So we are going to put an accent mark at the end of each word. Now, when the letter I is open and accented, how do we code it? It's a long vowel. We put a macron above it. So we're going to code Y the same way. We're going to put a macron above the dot to show it is a long I sound. Fly, try, shy. Very good. So remember when the letter Y is acting like a vowel, we need to put a dot above it, okay? So I have a picture card to help us remember this. So I want you to guess what is on my picture card. This is something that everyone in class has done before, including myself. This is something that you do if you're hurt or sad. Babies do this a lot. Can you guess the word? The keyword is cry. The sound we learned is I. So when you see this card, say cry, I, okay? So when I ask you from now on to write the letters that make the sound I, before we usually said I, consonant E, comma I, but now after today we learned final Y. So when I ask you to spell the I sound, we will say I, consonant E, comma, I, final vowel, Y, okay? So let's get our practice sheet out one more time. We're going to turn it to the back. For our new sound, we're going to write the spellings for the I sound. So just like I did on the board, I, consonant E, comma, I, final vowel, why? So now we're going to practice spelling some words that include vowel Y with the I sound. On number two, spell cry. Cry. Cry is spelled C R Y. Number three, why? Why? W H Y Y and number four trying trying T R Y I N G trying now take some time to read and spell the words in your high frequency word box Choose one from each column to write a complete sentence. Don't forget your capital letter and your punctuation mark. So let's switch over to our worksheet for today. Worksheet number 47. We are going to start by practicing some coding. So for number one, we have suffix S. So put a box around the suffix. We also have digraph EE. -E. We underline digraphs. The first E needs a macron. It is making the sound. The second E is silent. Can you read number one? The word is seeds. Seeds. What do you notice about the S 
sound. Seeds. Z, z. It makes the Z sound, so we're going to put a line through it. Seeds. Number two, put a K back on your C and put an arc underneath combination OR. Can you read number two? Cork. Cork. Look at number three. We have digraph SH. And we just learned what happens with Y at the end of the word. The Y is acting as a vowel, so we put a dot. It is making the long vowel sound, so we put a macron. And this word is accented. This word is shy. Shy. Number four has final stable syllable, B L E. Put a bracket, cross out the final E, accent mark. There is a consonant before the final syllable, so we will put a brevi above the U. This word is bubble, bubble. Number five, do you see a vowel pattern? Do you see vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel? Put a divider between the Fs. There needs to be a brevi above the O. And we have combination ER, so an arc goes underneath. This word is offer, offer. The first syllable is accented, so we'll put an accent mark, offer. And lastly, for number six, we have final stable syllable, F-L-E, bracket, cross out the final E, accent mark. There is not another consonant before the final syllable. So the I needs a macron. It is making a long sound. This word is rifle, rifle. Let's match our picture cards. So the first picture is showing a bubble. The second picture is cork. And the last picture shows seeds. Let's read the sentences together and answer the questions. We will fly to Denver in a plane this winter. It will be after six o'clock, so the sky will be dark. The trip will be lots of fun. Number seven, where will we fly? Where are they flying to? They will fly to Denver. Denver is the name of a city, so it needs to have a capital D, just like it did in the sentences. Number eight, we will take a trip this blank. Which season are they traveling? Spring, winter, or summer? It says we will fly to Denver in a plane this winter. Winter is when they are traveling. And number nine, we'll go to Fargo. Are they stopping at Fargo? Yes or no? No, I didn't see anything about Fargo. All right, turn your page over and I will tell you how many codes you'll find on your homework side. Number one has one code. Number two has three. Number three has three. Number four has four. Number five has eight codes. And number six has Four. So your numbers again are one, three, three, four, eight, four. Great job today.